Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this kinetic type animation like Pixrate. As always, a huge shout out to Pixrate for his amazing works. You can also check his Instagram and find more about his works. I will put the link in the description. Also, don't forget to download the project files for free on my Patreon page. The link is also in the description. So I'm going to start with a new composition and I'm going to call it design. And then I'm going to set the width on 9020 by 9020. And the frame rate is on 24 frames per second and the duration I'm going to set it to 6 seconds. So let's turn off the transparency and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create my main text which is Hunter. And I'm going to align it to the center. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to right click on it and then I'm going to select create shape from the text and then I'm going to delete the original layer. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a stretch text animation. To do so, I'm going to use the crazy shapes to set path keys and exactly on 1 second and 12 frames, I'm going to zoom and this time I'm going to just select one point. Well, this is easy. Just select one point and then when the mouse button, as you see, changed into this white pointer with a rectangle, I'm going to just select the bottom points and then and that will change to a blue rectangle but before that I'm just gonna press Control plus R to set up some guidelines so I know how much I want to stretch the text and also this make the letters snap which saves our time a bit and now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to select these two points and then I'm going to snap it to the guide layers same as the upper parts now off to the next word so I'm just going to speed up the process and I'm going to stretch these letters. Well, here we have this animation. Now let's move to the three seconds. And then I'm going to copy the first set of keyframes and then I'm going to loop it for the entire duration of six seconds. And then I'm going to select everything and I'm going to right click on it. And in keyframe velocity, I'm going to set the influence on 85%. So we'll have an animation like this. And now in here, I have a texture folder, which consists of four textures that we are going to use for this tutorial. So I'm going to bring the font texture on top and I'm going to set the scaling like to 80%. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change the mode into Silhouette Luma. So we will have a texture for our text. Well, now before we get to adding the displacement effect, it will be really nice of you to hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed to the channel. Also leaving a like and comment will help me out a lot to grow my YouTube channel. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to call it the displacement map. And let's hit OK. And now I'm going to bring the design composition into here and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to bring the texture. Now, if I want to quickly explain how does the time displacement effect work, I will say that the time displacement effect distorts the image by shifting pixels across time and it uses the black and white pixels to do it. Well, now I'm going to set the scale on 80% and then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to turn off the displacement texture and now I'm going to add the time displacement effect and now I'm going to change it into displacement texture. And now let's hit preview. Now, as you see, we will have this amazing animation, but there is an issue. As you see, the animation right now does not loop. So we need to fix that. 
So to do that, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this text. So let's see the end of the loop. As you see, the end is something close to here, which will have around three seconds and two frames. So what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to cut the beginning of these two layers and then I'm going to offset them in a way that we have the same frame at the beginning and at the end. All right, great. Now, what I'm going to do on the next step is that I'm going to create a text that follows the path. So to do that, I'm going to create the hunter text first. And then let's change the font to Helvetica this time and let's set the font to 40. and let's set the spacing to 20. Well, this is exactly what we want, but let's just call it Hunter with a dash now. Now, on the next step, I will draw a mask around the shape. Well, I will go towards the rounded rectangle tool and I will create a shape like this. Well, now I gotta make sure that the stretch of text doesn't interfere with the path. So I'm gonna press Ctrl plus T and then I'm gonna extend the bottom a bit. Well, something like this. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna go towards the text path option and then I'm gonna set the path to mask. So now, as you see, the text is on the path. However, to animate it along this path, we'll need to add a position. So I'm going to go towards the animate and then I will select the position. Now from the zero second to six seconds, I will set the, I will set the X value to 900. Now let's just add more text by pressing control plus C and control plus V. Alright, good, but now we will have some problems with the gaps in here. So to fix that, I'm going to reverse this path first, and then I'm going to turn on the force alignment. Alright, so we'll have something like this, which is good. Now what we'll need to do is that I'm going to go towards the project panel, and this time I'm going to add the final composition, and I'm going to bring the displacement map composition in here. And I'm going to make sure that we are going to offset it correctly for a perfect loop. Alright, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to add a new solid and I'm going to call it the background. Now let's just turn it into white. And now on the next step, let's just change its color by adding an adjustment layer and let's add a tint effect and then I'm going to change the first color to a red color and on the second one which is for the background I'm going to change it to black great now this is the animation but let's add more texture to it so to do that I'm going to go towards the project panel this time and I'm going to open this texture which is kind of basically some dots texture. So I'm going to bring that on top of the adjustment layer. And now I'm going to set the mode to darken. So now we need to remove this black background in here. Well, to fix that problem, I'm going to add the invert effect. So this effect just basically invert, inverts the colors. Now what we need to do is that I'm going to duplicate this texture one more time. And this time I'm going to delete the invert effect and I'm going to change the mode to lighten. However, I'm going to add a levels effect and I'm going to increase the black and white channel in order to decrease the white spots. It is really up to you whether you want to increase the white dots 
or you want to remove them so I'm just gonna stick with removing them for now well on the final step what we need to do is that I'm going to add these dots textures and I'm gonna change its mode to lighten again and lastly I'm gonna add an invert effect again so we will have our final design like this so here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it will help me out a lot for the future content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.